Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by and watching our video today. My name is Gary. And I'm Steve, and today we have a really, really cool uh, feature called the Windows 7 Problem Recorder. Have you ever been in a situation where maybe you're on your computer and you're trying to solve a problem and you're talking to someone on the phone, they don't know what's going on on their end, you can't explain it on your end. Wouldn't it be great if you could send them some kind of a file that would show them exactly what was going on? Well, with Windows 7, you can do this. Right, the uh, Windows 7 Problem Recorder is going to be a very simple way to handle this. All you have to do is open it up and hit record, go through the steps you're trying to explain, and it will take care of the rest. It's going to document everything, it's going to take screenshots for you automatically, and you can even put little notes in to, let pe to, to explain exactly what's happening at that point. So we're going to turn to the computer now and uh, I'll show you how to use it. So the first step in using the Problem Steps Recorder is to open the program in the first place. So on Windows 7, we're going to go to Start, and we're going to click here in the search box, and I'm going to type in psr.exe, and go ahead and hit Enter, and it's going to open the Problem Steps Recorder. It's right here. Now, one thing I would recommend here would be running this as administrator so you can see everything. Otherwise, it's going to give you a warning saying that the person, you know, the recorder may not be able to record everything that's happening. So to do that, we're going to click right here on this arrow. We're going to choose Run as Administrator. After that's finished, it's going to reopen as the Problem Steps Recorder running as Administrator. It doesn't look any different. Now, the next thing you do is go ahead and hit Start Record. Now, I'm not going to be able to recreate some problem here since I don't have any problems with this computer right now, but I'm just going to show you how it works. I'm going to go ahead and open up Firefox. That's my first step here. And then I will uh, scroll down a little bit, and let's say I want to go to this computer tip, and I want to read this and uh, then I want to um, maybe click over here and, and go to our newsletter archive and uh, let's say I want to add a comment here and say this is the archive and then go ahead and hit OK. It's going to add that comment in. I can go ahead and click on any of these links and scroll around. I think that's enough to show you. Now I'll go ahead and hit stop record and the next thing that happens is it's going to open a window ask me to save the file. Um, I'm going to save this to the desktop and we'll give it a file name, we'll call it Problems, and go ahead and hit Save. Now, this is automatically going to create problems.zip over here on the desktop, and uh, if you double click on this, you'll see there's a file in here, and all we have to do is double click on it, and it's going to open it in Internet Explorer, and it's going to give us all the details. Now, you'll see here exactly what it is. You can tell I went down here to the Start, start bar, and then I opened Firefox, and then it, you know it tells you um, you know, go ahead and that I, what I did and what I clicked on and at what time. It goes through every single step that I took while I was recording. Here's where I put the note in, and here's where I clicked on the next link. And then it, down here at the bottom, here's additional details. This is where a, an error may be recorded by the system or anything else that, that the other the programs you're using respond back to the system and tell it what to do. This is great for technical support, and it's also great just for explaining to somebody how to use something on the computer. Um, that's really all there is with this. Uh, you're, you know, the, the best thing about it is it puts it in a zip file. You can go ahead and just email this to somebody with no problems at all, and uh, it's, it's simple to use, and, and it really allows a great way to explain a problem. Isn't that about the coolest Windows 7 feature you've seen? Now, maybe you don't think it is, but I sure think it is because I am on the receiving end of a lot of tech support calls from friends and family asking, hey, I'm trying to figure this out, and you're talking to them on the phone, and they, and you, you know, you don't know if they know what they're doing or you don't know if they're following along. Something like this is absolutely great. And if it's the reverse for you, if you're not handling the calls, if you're making the calls and trying to get help, you can send somebody a file like this, even if you're talking to tech support, maybe they're not even aware of this feature in Windows 7, so you can offer this to them as, uh, as here, let me show you exactly what I'm doing. Right, and it, you know, if it's really a great feature. I recommend checking it out. Just play around with it first and see if you like it. Uh, really, you'll find that it's, it's very interactive, it's easy to use, and it's gonna help you to solve problems with your computer, whether you're solving them for somebody else or you're sending this information to them so they can solve it for you. So that's about all we have for today. We uh, appreciate you stopping by watching the video. We love your questions, so go to worldstart.com slash ask. We'd love to hear from you. Let us know what's on your mind, and uh, we'll do our best to answer them here in the videos. If you're not on our Computer Tips newsletter, i got to ask, why the heck not? Get on there. Sign up today. And uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, go to worldstart.com, sign up for the newsletter, and then make sure you go back to YouTube and uh, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.